And so what criminal defense attorneys need to know is that the most minor offenses or seemingly minor offenses can actually result in their client being you know, deportable or inadmissible or ineligible for citizenship. And it's not just one of these things where even though it seems like a slap on the wrist in the criminal case, like, oh, well, you're not gonna do any jail time or you're just gonna get probation then you know people think it's all good and then they end up in immigration proceedings and they find out like it's the crime of the century right. so we want to um, be able to avoid that surprise generally just because you know it, it sucks for people who you know if they just had a, a quick two three four five minute call with an immigration attorney they could have avoided a whole host of problems but so it's it's it is that simple but it's not that simple because in order to properly answer those questions in terms of um, what's going to happen with my client if they plead guilty to this or they plead guilty to this alternatively or what should they plead guilty to you need to know you know how long they've been here in the united states how did they come in the united states have they ever had you know a voluntary return have they had a voluntary departure have they been deported so and those are three distinct things that people are just like, oh, well, I was deported, or, you know, I signed and they let me go. Like those have <laughs> technical- So it's very case by case basis. It's yeah. There's no all encompassing generalization. It's, right. You know, you need to have your expertise. Yes. To, you know, okay, you know, my client's this, this, and this. Right. Okay, this is what we can do. Right, so. exactly. And so that, that helps um, because then, you know, we go through that whole history with the client and then, so, you know, for example, if a uh, criminal defense attorney is representing his client, uh, client gets arrested for, you know, a 273.5, just your standard corporal injury to a spouse. And they wanna know, all right, you know, how's this gonna affect my client? So that's what we would do, We'd go through that whole history, you know, how he came in, how long they've been here, what is their status, are they here on a visa? Are they here with no status? Do they have a green card? Um, how long have they had that status? Have they ever been deported? Have they ever suffered a voluntary departure? Have they had voluntary returns? And go through that whole thing. Then go through the actual charges and the discovery as well to see, excuse me, to see what the, the evidence is against the client. Because it, it also doesn't help for some immigration attorney to tell, you know, a criminal defense attorney, you know, they have their clients charged with you know, attempted murder, and they're like, oh, I'm just pleaded down to a battery, you know? <laughs> or it's like, just something that's not even realistic that comes out of a book, you know, it, it's, it has to be, you know, at the end of the day, if you're gonna make a counter offer, it's gotta at least be something that the DA is gonna, you know, entertain. So it doesn't make sense for me to say, okay, well, you can, you know, try and negotiate this, and it's not even something that's in the, within the realm of possibility. And so that's where the experience as an actual criminal defense attorney comes in so it's it it really has like created this awesome you know hybrid niche hybrid uh between these two things and so um so so not only just for general awareness for our client base um because you know there are just a lot of really good people who just happen to fall into jams you know people who um you know in terms of our client base work in construction work in the food and service industry, you know, just really good, decent, hardworking people who may have you know, just fallen into a jam or made a bad decision and don't deserve to just you know, get up and deported based off of you know, one bad decision. Right. So, um, so then you know, the, the, one of the things to be looking forward is, all right, well, how can we reach these criminal defense attorneys? How can we reach these immigration attorneys um, you know, both online, offline, and then um, the client base as well, you know, to let them know, like I, I did shoot a video, the, I don't know if you saw the Mas Importante, the yeah. video Mas Importante. And so we did, you know, put some dollars behind that and it's been shared quite a few times. I think I shared like 250 something times or whatever. Right. And so for a legal video, and that's also the challenge because it's not, you know, videos of babies or kittens. You know? <laughs> this is like, these are legal topics and the law is relatively boring. I mean, crime is fascinating and so you have all kinds of crime dramas, but in terms of information, um, 
constantly searching for a way to, um, just trying to find a way to um, creatively, you know, reach people um, is 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 something that you know that I'm that I'm looking toward. And I mean, going back to that video that you did mm -hmm. in Spanish, mm -hmm. how you got all those shares, all those views. You know, it's probably one of the top few videos that you've actually created in, you know, it's Spanish. Yeah. And that's, I mean, we're in San Diego, like, right. That's yeah. majority, not majority population, but right. you know, it's pretty significant, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pretty significant piece. And if yeah. not, you know, plenty of people are speaking Spanish. So right. if you're like, Oh, you know, I happen to see this on Facebook, YouTube, stumbled across on Google yeah. and they share it with their friends and all of a sudden they're like, oh my gosh, like, yes, I need this number. Right. And right, there right. you are. Yeah. So for you to like explain, um, you know, what happens when you get detained or if you get stopped by the police, what should or should you not do? What can they do? Yeah. Can they search your car? You know, things like that where, yeah. you know, if you're scared and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm pulled over by a cop, like, what do I do? Um, especially if you are like, an illegal immigrant or you know just if even as a citizen like i've been pulled over i get nervous right yeah, yeah. you know so like as far as i know i'm just gonna be like yes you know, <laughs> dude, by all means search my car i don't right. have anything and you know yeah they're not necessarily allowed to do that in certain cases you know yeah, yeah. like whatever it might be probable cause whatever you know right um so just having that basic information to be like okay you know that background knowledge, hey, you know what? I, I need to know my rights, I have these rights. And a lot of us don't. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. up until I really researched all that, I was like, oh I didn't know, you know. As far as I'm concerned, I'm telling the officer they can do whatever they want. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, and obviously not being able to like incriminate yourself by doing that just because you're scared. Right. Um, right. And you know, it's intimidating to be stopped by a cop even if you're like, I didn't do anything. Yeah. You know? No, I, I, I was uh, pretty upset in, um, in criminal procedure. So crim pro class, that's where you learn, you know, you really get into, you know, the Fourth Amendment, the Fifth Amendment, um, you know, not a whole lot on the Second Amendment, but uh, and I don't even think the First Amendment, but Fourth and Fifth Amendment are big in that class and um, right to counsel um, and, and to then learn, like, you know, when you, have a right to be read your rights and, you know, consent and all the exceptions to the warrant requirement. It's like, how, how is this not like taught in a class? Yeah, These are right. so important. Uh, so, so yeah, I mean, it, it is, you know, you had an opportunity to do some research, but you know, how many people actually, you know, research their rights? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I know I mean, 20 years yeah. I didn't do it. And Obviously, the only reason was because I'm here. So it's like, well, yeah, everyday person is gonna yeah. be like, "What is my right when 